hello everyone let's do another paper of cambridge primary checkpoint this is paper 1 of october 2020 and time to complete this paper is 45 minutes and as this is paper 1 so you cannot use calculator in that this is without calculator uh you can go through the instructions you can just take screenshot and then you can read afterwards uh here you can see you can use protractor and you can use tracing paper so let's start question 1 there are 12 chickens every week each chicken lays 3 eggs what is the total number of eggs laid in 7 weeks so you must show your working so if you see like how many chickens are there there are 12 chickens every week each chicken lays 3 eggs so each chicken so one chicken lays 3 eggs and 12 chickens will lay how many eggs 12 chickens will lay times 3 so 2 times 3 6 it is 36 so 36 eggs will be laid by 12 chickens so now we are calculating for uh, for 7 weeks so this is for one week so now we need for 7 weeks so total um, will be 36 times 7 so 6 times 7 is 42 so 4 goes here so 2 will write here and 4 will come here 7 times 3 21 21 plus uh, 4 it is 25 so total number of eggs will be 252 Now question number 2 here is a Venn diagram for sorting numbers write each number in the correct place on the diagram so we are given these numbers here we are going to put them here in the diagram so we will start with one by one now uh, you can see like we are given here multiples of 5 and multiples of 10 so this small circle will be multiples of 10 so we can find out the multiples of 10 from here so 30 is multiple of 10 40 is multiple of 10 so we can write down here 30 and 40 so now as you can see this is inside the multiple of 5 so these two are multiples of 5 also So now next number is we are done with this and this. Next number is thirty five. Thirty five is multiple of five, but not ten. So we will write down thirty five in uh, this circle of multiple of five. So we are done with this. Thirty seven. Thirty seven ends with the seven. So we have numbers ending. I mean uh, numbers which are multiples of five and ten. So they must end by five and. Uh, Uh, zero. So thirty-seven is none of them. So we will put it outside. So thirty-seven is gone. So now fifty-five. Fifty-five is also just multiple of five, not of ten. So it will also come outside in this circle. So that's it for this question. Question number three. Mia begins reading a book with ninety-four pages. Uh, on day one, she reads twenty-seven pages. On day two, she reads double the number of pages as on day one. Uh, question is how many pages does she read on day two? So as you are given that on day two she reads the double, double of this one. So double of this is twenty-seven. So twenty-seven times two, it is fifty-four. So she reads fifty-four pages on day. Two, number uh, part B of this question: How many pages does she have left to read? So as you can see, she has read twenty-seven pages. Second day she read fifty-four. So total pages, total pages that she read is twenty-seven plus fifty-four. So this will be. Seven plus four eleven one two plus three two plus one is three three plus five is eight. So she read total eighty one pages. So how many are leftovers? 
they are 94 minus 81 which is 13 so she is left with the 13 pages to read question 4 take the calculation that has answer closest to 300 so we are looking for the answer which is closest to 300 so let's see as you can see here uh, we have 899 minus 501 when you subtract here 9 minus 1 8 9 398 405 minus 98 15 minus 87 so it is 0 307 802 minus 597 so uh, 12 minus 7 it's 5 so this will be 10 10 minus 9 is 1 7 minus 215 this is 496 minus 204 6 minus 4 is 2 9 2 92 so now we are looking for the number which is closest to 300 so that means the difference between 300 and this number should be uh, minimum so 300 you, when you subtract 300 here the difference is 98 if you subtract 300 from this number answer uh, difference is 7 so this uh, 300 minus 215 so this is uh, uh, 5 8 85 and here um, 300 minus 292 so you have difference of 8 so which one is smallest here you can see we have the smallest difference is 8 so we are going to tick uh, this 405 minus 98 I hope you understood this question um, I have just explained it but you can do it just by subtraction question number five Gabriela cuts a path in grass around her flower bed the diagram shows her root so this is the root shown with arrows complete the instruction for her route so we are already given the direction here so i let me just expand this so this is north this side we have south east and we have west this side so we are given she starts from here so it is like uh, how many squares we have here you can see this is starting from the middle one here Two, three, and then four. So four south. You can see it's going towards south, and then two east. One two east. Now uh, we have to complete two east. Then one and two. This is going north. So two north. Okay. Then after going to north, one two and three towards east. So three east and three east then afterwards then we have one and two towards north then two north and then moving back towards west so it is one two three four and five so it is five west okay so that's it you can do this step by step now next we have calculate 1 minus 4 over 7. So as you know that 1 can be written as 7 over 7 which is 1. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 4 over 7. Now you have denominator same. You can directly subtract. 7 minus 4 it is 3 over 7. So 3 over 7 is final answer. Question 7. Draw a line to join each quantity to the unit uh, used to measure it one has been done for you the capacity of tin of paint it is in liters the height of tree height of tree should be in meters so this is in meters then we have mass of a man mass of a man should be in kilograms the capacity of teaspoon teaspoon is so small so it should be in milliliters 
because data is already done so we have only one unit of the capacity here now question number eight complete the table one row has been done for you size of angle name of the angle acute angle acute angle as you know that it is size should be more than zero degrees and less than 90 more than zero and less than 90 is acute 90 degrees right angle then more than 90 so as you see this is 90 angle more than 90 and less than 80 that means this one this is obtuse angle question number nine here is a clock it shows the time school finishes in the afternoon so that is afternoon time so as uh, here is a 24 hour digit digital clock take the digital clock that shows the time uh, school finishes so this time as you can see this time is 320 320 is in the am session but afternoon is it is pm session so for pm session you are going to add 12 in this so this will be 15 20 so this is the time that we are going to take here question number 10 Carlos grows cabbages he finds the mass of three of his cabbages so these are the different masses that are given uh, which is the mass of the heaviest cabbage give your answer so the first one this is in gram this is kilogram and gram so let's convert them all of them into um, grams so the first one is we have here as you can see this here from 0 100 200 this is 300 so uh, the gap between these is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so that means 1 uh, this represent as 20 uh, so 220 240 260 so this will be 280 so this is 280 grams and this is kilogram you can see in kilograms so that means this will be half and this will be quarter here so uh, this is going to be 2 4 6 8 and then 10 so this is 400 grams and this one is uh, 300 and uh, this is 300 uh, you can see uh, one two three there are four so this is in the middle so that means this is 350 grams so the question is which mass is the heaviest so heaviest cabbage is here uh, this is 400 grams so answer will be 400 grams in this case question 11 shade 1 over 3 of this shape you can see we are different uh, we have different sections here so we need to shade 1 over 3 and that means we need to shade one box out of three so let's see how many are they in total so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen so they are in total they are eighteen so out of three we need to shade one and out of eighteen so that means you are multiplying this by six so by six so we need to shade any six out of these like this you can shade any six uh, one two three let me shade this one five and six so that means we are shading one two three this is four five and six any six of them question number 12 the top number in each pattern is product of the two numbers under it like you can see and uh, this top number is product of this two times three that gives you six uh, write the missing number in each of the pattern to make it uh, correct like you can see here 4 4 times 9 it is 36 so we will write 36 here so 9 times 6 is uh, uh, 50 
4. Then part B we have 42 on the top. So 6 times what give you 42? That is 6 times 7 is 42. So 7 times 8 is 56. That was so easy. Question 13. Uh, complete the following. We have 3.4 kilograms and we need to convert it into grams. So 3.4 kilogram can be converted into grams by multiplying it 1000 because 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. So this is 34 times 1 and then 3 zeros. We have 1 decimal here. So you will put 1 decimal. So this will be 3400 grams. This one is to, uh, as you know, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter because we are converting uh, meters to centimeters. So 2.7 times 100. So this will be 2, 7, then 2 zeros, 1 decimal place. From here count 1 decimal place. So we will cut that. So you are left with only 270 centimeters. Question 14. Here are two identical triangles drawn in different positions on grid. You can see we have two triangles here. Describe the translation of triangle B to the position of triangle A. Uh, we need to describe from B to A. So uh, let's see how we are moving. Uh, you can choose any corner. I'm choosing this corner. So we need to move to this corner step by step. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means it is four, four squares down, four squares down and then two left, two, two left. So that's the explanation for the translation. So that's it uh, uh, for this. Um, uh, we have covered in this video the questions from uh, first question to 14th uh, so i will do next questions in the second uh, video i hope you understood all the questions if there is anything you can let me know in the description box thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends